United Town Agency for North South Co Cooperation. You have the floor. Honorable President, the operations of the Pakistani establishment in Balochistan intensifies every passing minute as army scorch and burn policy in Dera Bukti, Mari area, Awaran, Mashke continue. There is documented and photographic evidence of these atrocities. Moreover, the army has also outsourced terror to religious jihadi groups like the Jamaatul Dawa and Lashkar Jangvi, both prescribed by the USA, and others of its ilk in this. And this has resulted in more missing Baluch activists and their targeted killings apart from the carnages against the Hazara Shia minorities in Balochistan. On January 25th, more than 200 bodies were con uncovered in mass graves in Tuta Khuzdar and contained at least three confirmed bodies of previously abducted Baluch. Independent reporters who visited the site claimed that this area had been under the control of religious outfits which doubled as army-sponsored death squads against Baluch activists. Honorable President, in the past, abducted activists were killed and dumped in different parts of Baluchistan, but now are consigned to mass graves and certainly more mass graves await discovery. The charade of forming a commission by the toothless and conniving Supreme Court regarding the mass grave just ensures that this urgent matter is put a balance forever. Economic rights are the bedrock on which human rights depend and flourish. The threat to Baloch human rights has become more acute and imminent due to extremely dangerous development by which Pakistani army will provide protection to Chinese firms to set to exploit and ravage Baluch natural resources. The Baluch will naturally resist exploitation of their resources, which means that there will be more widespread and brutal violations of human rights in Baluchistan. The Baluch deem the Chinese cooperation in exploitation of their resources as an act of war and ask the Council to demand the Chinese to respect Baluch rights. In conclusion, a 106-day, 2,800-kilometer long walk by the missing uh, families of the missing and killed Baluch persons ended in Islamabad recently without any callous and intensive institutions remained unmoved and not a single person was recovered. The Baluch make a fervent appeal to the Council to demand of Pakistan to respect the Baluch rights. Thank you. I thank you. United Schools International, you have the floor. Mr. President, today South Asia is a region of great interest of issues, but the world, the, what we would like to focus on today is one historical issue which has not sh been shown enough attention. I refer to the ongoing brutalization of the people of Balochistan by the state of Pakistan. Mr. Chairman, this is the fifth time since Pakistan's creation that the people of Balochistan have launched a movement to secure their political and economic rights. In, in the past, Pakistan has responded with an overwhelming armed force. A new dimension has been added this time, the kill and dump policy, which has led veteran Baluch leader Sadar Hakar Mangal to lament that the province has been turned into a graveyard. The Baluch have been seeking figures for the large number of people who have gone missing. Their anxiety has been heightened by the recent discovery of the mass graves in Baluchistan, and the people suspect that those missing victims are possibly in mass graves in the province. Attempts by the Pakistan Supreme Court to seek figures from the establishment of only elicited evasion was little in the way of concrete information about the missing people. The Baluch have organized long marches to acquaint not only other Pakistanis, but also the international community about the plight and the failure to redress the grievances of the Baluch people. Baluch organizations believe that nearly 1,500 of their brethren have been killed while 18,000 remain missing, and there is nothing to suggest that the province's fate is going to change. Security forces continue to function with impunity, and all of the leaders in Pakistan have done is visit the province, hold meetings with officials, promise various packages, and let the security establishment continue with its brutality. The people of Balochistan believe, with some justification, that there is a deliberate attempt to keep the province impoverished. The largest province of Pakistan, with huge natural gas reserves and other resources, lags behind all other provinces in terms of education, nutrition, health services, and most importantly, in employment, particularly in projects being undertaken on their own or with, outs with outsiders, mainly China. Balochistan has also suffered with Punjabi cultural domination and Urdu has been imposed on the province with little regard to safeguarding. Thank you. Thank you.